regularly throughout your school life, you'll have to prepare yourself for exams. Preparing for exams could be stressful, so it's important that you make sure you prepare well in advance of the exam to minimise the stress involved with sitting an examination. You should receive an exam timetable well in advance when you are required to sit the exam. When you get your exam timetable, make sure that all the subjects you're expecting to see in it are there. Check for any mistakes or errors or clashes. If you see a problem, you need to report it to the exams officer. The next step in preparing for exams is to make a revision diary. You need to plan your revision and preparation. You can use a paper diary, or you can use Microsoft Excel, or you can just write a grid out on a piece of paper. Enter all the exams that you're going to sit into the revision diary and then enter any other fixed events into your diary as well. Here's an example. Notice this, this is week 6. So there will be other pages in my um, diary. Notice how I've also put in some events that are fixed in the week. Leisure time. I need to plan my revision around my leisure time. The next thing to do is to check with your teacher what you're going to be examined on. Here's an example for a science exam. You can then review what you think you're good at and those topics that maybe you need to spend more time revising. Remember when you're revising, most people cannot concentrate for more than 30 minutes at a time. So try and do your revision in so short sessions of 20 minutes, and then take a 5 to 10 minute break. Most people concentrate better in a quiet room or with quiet background music. Avoid playing fast pop music, which is going to distract you from the work that you're doing. Most people get tired after two hours of a revision, so it's better to do short sessions regularly than to do long sessions every now and again. And remember, keep going back to the work that you've covered. If you revisit the work that you've revised, you're more likely to remember it. This can be shown on a graph. Here we have a graph. Over a period of revision, the amount that you know is increasing. When you stop revising, as the time progresses, you forget what you've learnt. If you revisit the following day, the revision that you've done the day before, you'll notice that the gradient of the graph is more shallow. It takes longer to forget what you've learned. thing that you need to consider is when you're going to do your revision. Different people will revise at different times. Remember, small chunks regularly work best. Here's an example of a one week diary plan for revision. Notice how I've built in time off to relax. Exercise is an excellent way to relax in between the hard work involved with revising for examinations. You might find on a weekend that your family go out. That's probably a good day for you to stop in and do some revision. Last of all, you need to consider the best ways to revise. Here are some examples. Remember, if you put the effort in, 
you will achieve the grades that you are aiming for.